Hey folks, this is Decoherent, and welcome back to Pillars of Eternity 2 Deadfire. Or more correctly, Deco mangles a whole bunch of fantasy names. So we are in the Kraken's Eye, and we're just kind of looking around. There's a Kraken Eye here, hence the name. We got a little side quest to go yell at some guy that's got an overdue bill. So you know what? Let's just let's just go do that. We got time, right? I do want to do some of the side quests anyway for hopefully free stuff and experience and, you know, all the generally good stuff. All right. So who are we looking for? Not a commoner. Oh, let's check the various rooms. There'll be some sure around thing. here. Is it the big room? That'd be cool. No That's locked. Okay. Are you the guy we're looking for? Ah, a new face. You've heard, of course, that Norgund remains the most reliable and discreet supplier of mostly legitimate wares? Oh, yes, of course. Are you looking for something in particular? I'm not even going to ask where you get this stuff. Lockpicks, spices, onyx, thief's putty. Huh. Well, that's cool. A ripple sponge. Neat. Oh, okay. Well, that's neat, but you're not who I was looking for. Sorry. So, what is the guy we're looking for? Uh, how does it work? You inhale. It isn't complicated. Ha! That's funny. Welcome, my Miko. Do you wish to partake? Of? Ripple sponge, of course. An expensive vice, but worthwhile. Ah, uh, no thanks, I'm good. Pretty. So where's the person we're supposed to talk to? Are you just not up here at the moment? Welcome I, I just, I just talked to you. Never mind. You looking for I didn't mean to do that. Um, hold on here. Okay, here we go. Find Galen. Or Galleon. Upstairs in the room furthest to the back. Okay, but these rooms are locked. Furthest to the back. Already on it. Oh, now it's not locked. Okay. Don't remember ordering more drinks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, it's just us. Thought I'd locked that thing. The glassy-eyed gentleman before you bears the miserable expression of the recently sober. He also smells like he's been pickling in a cask for a couple days. Thing is, the way doors work, right? And I realize this is complicated, is that you close them, and then uninvited people stay on the other side. Wouldn't it be thoughtful if they did that? Try not to slam the door on your way out, yeah? My head's going to pieces. Hey, I'm gonna kick you out. Throw once you out of here. Does he now? And what are you supposed to do about it? Hmm, let's see here. So, we could... Be rational. We could... Be aggressive. Uh... Let's be nice. Do you really want the guards in here to throw you out onto the street? The governor's got all his guards on high alert. Staving off the pirates. Mm, he wiggles a hand in a gesture of mock alarm. So if anyone's going to be doing the throwing, it's going to have to be you. How about it, tough guy? Hmm. Alright, so he reaches up to give us a shove. I could shove him back. Stab him in the arm? Oh, that's awesome. That's cruel. I'm not feeling cruel. Uh-huh. Does that make you feel better about yourself? He aims a sullen glower in the general direction of his boots. Oh, here, you know what? Yeah, Thorell's getting pretty steamed. Things are only going to get worse, buddy. Galen looks down at himself, then out the foul bedding and the sticky carpets. His shoulders slump. Well, maybe we did lose our heads a little. A little. Are you serious? You're going to let him kick us out of our own room? Yep. Come on, you lot. The crew of the Peregrine sails for brighter shores. <laughs> he heads out at a wobbling limp. Good for us. See, that was easy. All you have to do is be nice to people, and then be prepared to click the button that says stab them in the arm, and everything's fine. Do we have any stuff up here that we could, uh, liberate on the way down? Development of a Crucible Knight? Oh, okay. Well, let's take a look at these. Very quickly. Tests. Just a cars. Sure. Maybe that's worth something to somebody. Anything in here? Hmm, pox cap. So that's good. Alright, let's go report our success. Then we managed to kick somebody out. Good for us. I feel like we're really doing God's work today. Galen, where are you lurking about? There you are. Or not Galen. You know what I mean. Galen's gone. 
I'm having a hard time clicking on you. Thrall, no buddy. Kicking, eh? What'll it be? So I got that room cleared up for you. Hey, good work. Times like these, I can't afford to keep on anyone who can't pay their tab. The second word got around, I'd have every pauper in the city on my doorstep. Yeah, they do that. The room's yours if you want it. And for a job well done, here's your pay. Oh, nice. We get a damp leather coin pouch. And we get a positive. Nice. And we get levels. Well, cool. Let's check these out. So, first let's take a look at our new friend, our priestess. Oh, neat. Okay. Um. Alchemy. Possible. Arcana. The power of scrolls. Okay. And athletics. Yeah, we need to get some... In well, not going to do that here, but we need to get some of those into there so we can, you know, pass some checks. Religion. I don't feel like I want to dump her into animancy. You've already got some points in religion. Why don't you get some more religion? Mm, which one of these two? Let's say... Let's say alchemy. Okay, and now we've got a bunch of abilities here. Okay, so ugh, let's look through these here. Okay, Blessed Harvest, we've already got that, and Withdraw. Yep, that's pretty cool. All right, Interdiction, which condemns people. Uh, we've already got Restore. Suppress Affliction. Holy Power. Well, that's kind of cool. Uh, Barbs of Condemnation for Punishment. Um, Blessing for Protection. Halt. Commands a single enemy to halt, causing them to stop all movement. Ooh, that could be cool, actually. Crowd control for the win. Uh, fit inspiration? More condemnation. Mm -hmm. Targeted AoEs are pretty good. Let's see here. Inspiration. Spiritual weapon. Oh, cool. Uh, we've got a conic projection. Pillar of faith. Crush damage on the target them. Ooh. Okay, you know what? Uh, let's... I think I'm going to focus her on crowd control and healing. I don't think I'm going to do much offensively with her. So it seems like halt would be good. And it seems like um, pillar of faith would be good. Because we could slow everyone down. I'm going to do those two. This may be totally wrong, but I think that actually is not a bad way to go. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Nice. All right, and then for us, what do we want to do? I don't think we need sleight of hand or stealth, unfortunately, although I put some points into that, but now I've decided I don't need it. Let's put some points into mechanics, just because I like that kind of stuff. Mm, insight? Insight or metaphysics? These are ones we don't have yet. Ooh, metaphysics. Animancy, Audra, the Wheel, the In-Between, and Beyond, all Mysteries of the Soul. Ooh, since we're a Watcher, let's do that. It's probably wrong, but it's okay. Now we get new stuff too, okay. Phantom Foes. Leaves him flanked, oh that's cool. Uh, Mind Blades, yes, Mind Blades. Recall Agony. Oh, cool. Let's see here, Vampiric Shield. Stealing part of its resolve. Okay, that's kind of cool. Amplified thrust. Yep. And mental blinding. Alternatively, we could get a biting whip. Uh, that's pretty cool. Or we could get a draining whip. Generating focus for the cipher. Ooh, that I might want. We're already getting some focus. The thing is, is what am I going to do with the focus after that? Let's generate more focus, and then let's also... I was hoping for something that one of these vampiric things would actually be like a heal. Um... <laughs> I really like this Recall Agony to get double damage. It just seems really cool. I'm gonna do it. Yep. Cool. Alright, so now I've got a room. So that's good. What's the point of having a room, I wonder? Let me go upstairs and let's take a look. Let's go see if that does anything cool for us. I like that we just waltzed in and, like, got the biggest room in the place for free. Okay, so what's the point of a room here? Okay, well, I don't know what the point of the room is. 
We could rest. No, we can't. Okay, well. Alright, well, we'll figure it out later. That's fine. Alright, let's head back outside. Continue on our way. And let's check out our journal, too, because these were both, yeah. These are high-level things. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And these we're just kind of working on. We could do burning bridges. That would be a good idea. Okay. So, to the northwest of the port. Okay, have we been everywhere else? Here? I think we have. Yep. Actually, we haven't been to the jail. I'm mildly curious about the jail. Let's go check that out quick. Alright, and here's the jail. Yes. Hey, Savia. What is it I can do for you? The watch commander looks up at you after her listless greeting, and you notice she has a dark bruise around one eye. She grimaces, but does not turn away. So, how are things going here? We lost no one to the storm, but many homes have been damaged, and the people are terrified of this giant the scouts reported. It is chaos, pure and simple, but things might have been far worse. Oh? Something you wanted? Uh, what happened to you? What happened? I showed the drunken fool more patience and respect than he deserved, and he struck me without warning. Mm, they do that. Sientere, Savia. You know that I was aiming for Darmo's pretty face. Hmm, I don't see many guards around here. We are stretched thin. The storm speaker did much to help, but much of the town has flooded. Now we are awash in homeless citizens and stranded merchants, to say nothing of the cultists out there. <clears throat> Cultist over here. <laughs> Savia glances up at Zodi, expression flat, but keeps silent. Now I have Ilari's people making trouble up on Gorechi Street. His little gang is looting everything they can get their hands on, and the Bozzo kicks up his heels like a prince. Hmm. Lucky for you that I'm around. I, uh, humbly offer my services. Let me out and I will bring you this Ilari's teeth. Hmm. Shot it, Rigeri. Ah, uh, let's run errands for people. I could go talk to him if you'd like. Kue, I cannot say it would not be welcome, but... You are only recently arrived, and not I here by choice. Well, that's, that's do true. This? Um, it does make sense to uh, be on good terms with the commander. Um, yeah, frankly, I mean, you want to be in good terms with the cops. And you are a sensible man, I see. Fair enough. No one has ever accused me of that. Gorechi Street is in the western part of town. Just walk until you hit water. We don't need a bloodbath. I'm sure there's a peaceful solution to resolve this. I'd appreciate your looking for it. No problem. Find water, blood, something, something, something. Let's go do it. We're spending a lot of time stomping around threatening people. I'm gonna have to name the episode something after that. Well... Rinko's house. Is this just not located on here? Oh, oh, okay. Hey, cool, this keeps going. Okay, I was gonna say, like, this felt like a really small zone. So they're just not connected, or do I have this screwed up? Um, is that what I want to do? Hold on, let me just double check. Yeah, Gretchy Street. Yep, okay. Um, alright. Sure. Alright. As we make our way along the side streets of Port Maje, you come around visible traces of the storm's passing. Many of the houses here boast cracked window panes and sagging awnings, and you pass narrow streets strewn with foliage and debris. The cobblestones beneath your feet are slick with water and silt. Before long, you're ankle-deep in sucking mud and loose stones. The flooding only worsens up ahead where the water level rises to the knees. Most of Port Maje's residents have fled this region for dry land. But the murmur of raised voices ahead, and the occasional splash, suggests that you are not entirely alone. Well, we knew that. Alright, well, here we are. Let's loot everything we can find. Oh, come here, all y'all. Come here. Stay together. Mmm... Don't let them leave, we can't have witnesses. I, I don't care what you're doing, I'm gonna... Looks like trouble. Oh. <sighs> Alright. You're just looters, huh? Alright. Well. You're not really where I was hoping you'd be, but that's okay. So... Let's see here. 
Maybe I'll take some shots from the back. Death to our and what should I have you do? Hmm. No, she doesn't have a ton of faith. I'd love to test something like Pillar of Faith, but that doesn't seem like a good use of her time. Yeah, I should just have her come melee. You know what? Sure. I'll stand back here, don't you guys worry about me. Oh, this guy is... ranged as well. Um... Yeah. That didn't go well. Do you have healing potions on you? You, you have one. Okay, so use that. Okay, maybe we are going to use some stuff here. Let's use Pillar of Fate then, because that just seems awesome. Oh, that's not going to hit anyone else. Okay, well, in that case... Um... Daze him? Yes, let's daze him. Well, she only has 50%, but let's give it a try. Wow, you're kind of getting your ass handed to you, buddy. Maybe I better move in here. Why don't I come engage this guy so he stops doing range attacks? And what are you going to do? Um, you've got your ranged weapons up. Hmm. We had some good times. There we go. Get a flank on here. Better than that. Oh. Yeah, she's doing things automatically, but that's okay. I trust the AI a little bit. Come on, fall down. Thank you. Alright. Well, that went a little better than last time. Oh, wait. Is there someone else around here? We're still in combat. Oh, there's someone over here we couldn't even see. Well, okay. New plan. All three of us. Go run at him. And come over here. Not sure I can. You can't? Oh. No flanking, huh? That would be enough. Come over here. Flank. Oh, okay. Never mind. Good job. Is that it now? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well that went a little better than last time. Already on it. I discovered something, huh? A hidden object. Where is it? Oh, right there. Okay, we'll check it out. I kind of went through and everything that could be auto-paused, I set to auto-pause. Okay, more coins. Okay, that's nice. Hats, padded armor, a hatchet. Okay. Actually, hold on. While we're thinking about this, do I have healing equipped or healing potions? See, yeah, I don't. Let's get some healing potions equipped for all three of us. Okay. How do I split a stack here? Hmm... That didn't work. Okay, here we go. Alright, now I've got this sorted. Okay. That took me a little longer than it should have. Okay, perfect. Alright, let's keep looting stuff. So what's this? Let's see, we got a Mother of Pearl, which... Okay, neat. Used to create stuff, and... A Protective Charm. Plus one Perception. Ability activates when near death. Huh. Well, that's pretty cool. Well, who should run around with a protective charm? Well, it's going to be me. I'm just pretending that it's not going to be. Secret worship, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I want a protective charm. What are you classified as? Here it is. Neat. And then if I end up near death, if I do. then we're all set. Okay, let's keep looting corpses, which is totally a normal thing to do. Another bow, okay. I hear you. I hear and obey. And some more stuff. We'll have to find someone to sell things to before too much longer. Is this the edge of the map? It is. Uh, yep. This slow is kind of annoying. Especially when baddies can attack us from range. Okay, now remember. Nobody will forget. Talk. No bloodbath. Just regular bath. Nothing but endless grime yeast. This is not the afterlife I was promised. I did not expect that to happen. Uh, yeah. Turns out there's a lot about that they don't tell you. Hmm. You seem to know where you are going. The soul crosses ethereal arms over her chest. 
Watcher, you're talking to a lost soul, aren't you? I'll just shine them the light real quick. The lantern rattles as Zodi swings it overzealously between you, siphoning in the spirit's essence. Okay. That seems rude. Can we do that with everybody around here now? Does that give her points? Faith? I do not Just know. Say the word. That's interesting. I don't think so. Something must be wrong with my vision. No matter how much I blink, I, I cannot make out more than blurry lights in the darkness. <laughs> you, you are quite blinding. Um, yeah, yeah, into the lantern with you. Follow Gon's light, all you lost souls. <laughs> For it shall guide you through the wheel. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm calm. No, I'm not. That was okay. super funny. <laughs> Ah, uh, into the lantern with you. Not a problem. I am rather enjoying the writing in this game, and I love the fact that everything is voice acted. I know it's probably slowing things down for you guys a little bit. It's okay if you watch this at a faster speed. Usually, though, all you get for voice acting is like you know parts of the main quest. So either the former inhabitants or looters have taken most of the contents. Well, all right. What about us as a looter? I I'm looting things. Oh, here we go. Not much cause to come out this way unless you're looking for trouble. Although you've found it. Hello. The young elf's hand drops to the pistol in his belt, palming the grip. The faintest hint of a sneer plays about his lips as he watches you unblinking. Hi. Uh, let's kind of make friends first. So, what you doing here? Echo, see? This is my street. That doesn't change after a little rain. That storm speaker. She didn't concern herself much with this place, did she? He kicks at the water, splashing noisily. Me and my gang, we keep the peace here, and the locals pay their dues. Nothing here now but what they left behind. So it sounds like the storm speaker protected part of the village. Hmm. Well, buddy, Savia sent me. She needs you to put a stop to the looting, please. Ilari snorts, his nose wrinkling. He regards you for a moment longer in expected silence. Then he throws his head back, letting loose a braying, unpleasant laugh. <laughs> Merle, she must be desperate. Not so desperate as to come here on her knees to beg for herself. But she sent you. No, there's my answer. I get my cut. There's no sense in ruining a good thing. Hmm... So, we could trade a favor. 40 copper is not much. I feel bad committing someone to needing a favor. But you know what? 40 copper is 40 copper. You know, if you help her out this one time, Savio will owe you a favor. A favor? <laughs> Mel, uh, I should buy a dinner, <laughs> maybe. Mid chortle, Ilari's brows draw together. He runs a thumb along his jaw, frowning. Done. I'll do it. Bon piaco. Can't be too bad, having a commander in your pocket. That's what I said. Tell Savia this isn't permanent. Second the water clears up and things are back to normal, we are through. I'll spread the word. Gorechi Street is under a lawful protection now. Hmm. Well, she's not going to be happy about that. Oh well. Okay, well, let's head on back and let's chat with her. 43 party experience gained. Oh, uh, there's a fast mode somewhere. Here we go. I mean, I'm probably speeding this up for you as it is, but still. Oh, I could have used any of these exits. Okay. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Okay, back we go to the harbor. All right, back to the jail. Well, back to visiting people at the jail. You know what I mean. And by people, I mean person. And by person, I'm in Savia. You already know these things. Hey, good news, kinda. Keeping out of trouble. A little jest. So, good it? news! I convinced Delari to keep watch on Gorechi Street. Perfetto. He's a little shit, ne? But a lazy one. He will not cause trouble if he does not have to. Alright easier to work with a familiar face for the moment. 
I can deal with him later. So, we have one small part of Port Magie under control. A good start. Well, here you are, for your time. <laughs> if I had ten men like you, the whole of Port Magie would be set right within the week. Wouldn't it, though? Gained 1,100 copper? Hmm. Now I feel bad for, like... Already on. Not just giving him 40 copper. Rum? Good, good. Anything else we can take? Uh, nope, doesn't look like it. I mean, we could talk to this guy, but I don't want to talk to him. He looks like a jerk. Okay, good. So we've run a couple of fetch quests. Good. And all we've done so far is be good guys. But to be fair, everybody has made a point out of telling us that we should not be killing people. So, let's go find the village. Doesn't that sound like fun? I think it does. Alright, so... Is this the village? Hold on, hold on. It it must be. Let's let's go look. Okay, here we are. Chieftain's Lodge. Oh, here we go. Mokara's Lodge. I think I just mangled that name again, sorry. Oh, here you are. The Yamana woman, woman steps sideways, angling herself towards you, and meets your gaze with an intense stare. I do not know you. Her voice is quiet, but each word is clipped and harsh. You were looking for Akawa? N no Rinko says that you robbed him during a card game. Rinko? She scoffs in a guttural burst of sound. The Valian? You jest, Akira. I should have thrown him into the sea. He dares to call me a thief? Well, he does seem like a jerk. So, why don't you just tell me what actually happened? What else? The Valians are fools. But Akawa wishes to trade, so we must be patient. We must save them from Nagati's storms. Even when they ignore our advice. So, Nagati is a Juana trickster goddess with a humanoid body and the head of an anglerfish? That's weird. Okay. Akawa told me I should see the tavern, speak with their people, learn patience. The traitor, Aophania, she taught me to play Valian cards. A simple game, but none would play with me in the tavern. Not until Ringo. Mm -hmm. I thought him kind until I proved the victor and he grew angry. Until he stood in front of his kin and called me a Mataru of Sadahuzi, A filthy islander and a cheat. So she's just good at cards and he's a jerk. For that, yes, I beat him. Why does this concern you? Uh... I, I don't care who started it. Let's... Should we try to appeal to her better nature? I don't think it's gonna work. We can try it. So... The guy's a jerk, but without that coin, he's gonna lose his house. Don't be foolish. Clario will see to him. I... That's not how things work. They've gotta pay for their food and pay taxes. His kinsmen would let him starve? Yes. Uh-huh. Her brows furrow and her eyes search your face. Why did this not prevent him playing at cards in the first place? Are all Valians so mad for coin? Yes. Why, what? So then, what am I to do? I did not wish him dead. Uh, that's... that's fine. Um... Ooh. Should we make her apologize? Hmm... Because frankly, I think that her reaction was justified. But, you know what? Uh, I'll just take the money back. So just give me his money and we'll just call it even. Huh. Then here is what you came for, though it is an uneven trade. Hmm, so she considers the coin purse in her hand for a moment before handing it to you. Her mouth twists in a resentful frown. Yeah, don't worry, I'm not going to keep it. I will ask our chieftain to send a healer for that idiot Valian. Perhaps that will quiet his whimpering. Now that actually is quite nice of you. That is quite nice of you. Okay, so here's the traitor. Let's talk to him quick. The one who taught her to play cards. Fancy a look at the wares, my friend? You're a bit out of the way out here, aren't you? Cozy spot, right? Not much competition apart from the basket lady. And the Hawana have coin to spend and goods to trade, same as the rest. Basket lady, huh? All right. Best goods on the island. Right? Oh, here we go. 
Can I sell her any of my junk that I'm carrying around? I actually can. Although, I don't think I'm going to at this exact moment. Shore Walker Sandals. Plus 20 stride. Ooh, that's pretty cool. So stride is how quickly they can run in combat. Ooh, that's pretty cool. And plus one resolve. Hmm. You know what? Let's buy some sandals. And let's sell her some garbage. We have a lot of garbage. Like a dagger and a sword. And these aren't very good. And a hammer. At least I'm assuming these aren't any good because they're just like early weapons. Let's sell some of this stuff. How do I do that? Yeah, don't, don't compare. Do I just drag and drop? Oh no, okay, okay, okay. I, I get this, sorry. Oh, yeah, it's worth... Mm, big old piles of money. That's for sure. Got a lot of shields. Um, Let's see here. How did I do this last time? Aha, here we go. Wait, that didn't work. Okay, well, I, I can't figure out how to get things to stack there, so never mind. So we've got crummy padded armor. Here, have a robe. I just want to get rid of some of this junk. Um, simple clothing. No, that's fine. We've got a bunch of hats. We don't need this many hoods. Other, yeah, yeah, because I, I want these boots. So I'm going to spend a bunch of money on boots. Yes. And who should get these? Honestly, it should be our friend here. Because he's the one who's moving around. Or did that... Did I automatically equip those? Where'd they go? Oh, here they are. Oh, that's what I did with the... Okay. I was wondering where their shields went. Okay. Let's drop those over here. Yes. Because you are going to be running around more than I am. Okay. Cool. Stealing, stealing. Let's not do that, obviously. Let's grab some plants. Because of course we will. And then... We've got another person to talk over here. The basket lady. Yes, her. The Storm Speaker. Ooh, this will be an interesting conversation. But let's go ahead and let's take a break quick. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.